Now we're going to talk about the statistical uh, postulates. The first, uh, the most important postulate for us is the one that is related to equilibrium. The postulate of equal a priori probabilities. Uh, remember we talked about another statistical postulate, for example, in the case of uh, tossing coins, we said that the probability of landing head uppermost or tail uppermost should be the same because of symmetry. The center of mass is right in the middle, there is no preference. Uh, so this would be a postulate for statistical uh, purposes. Now, uh, the statement of the postulate of equal a priori probabilities is as follows. If an isolated system is in equilibrium, then it is found with equal probability in each one of its accessible states. And we can also state the reverse. We can say that if an isolated system is found with equal probability in each, in each one of its accessible states, then it's equilibrium. So uh, vice versa. The, the other statement is also true. So we can demonstrate this uh, for a system of uh, four spin one half uh, particles that we have discussed before. Uh, remember uh, that we had the system uh, where the, tot the magnetic moment per spin is mu zero and the total energy was minus two mu zero b and uh, the system was isolated. So we found the accessible states plus 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 minus plus plus minus plus plus minus plus plus and minus plus 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 so for this system uh, that we have considered before system of four spins they are spin one half particles um, each with magnetic moment mu zero um, external field B total energy minus two mu zero B uh, we found four accessible states let me list them here again so we have plus 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 minus plus plus minus plus plus minus plus plus and finally minus plus 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 and at equilibrium there is no preference over uh, these states accessible states so these states will have probability a uh, one fourth one fourth one fourth so probability of uh, plus 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 minus will be equal to probability of plus plus minus plus will be equal to probability of plus minus plus plus and probability of minus plus 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 they are all the same 
so it's 1 over 4 and if you add all of these probabilities so p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus p4 you get 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 equal to 1 which exhausts all the probabilities now if the system is not in equilibrium and I form an ensemble of these four spins so uh, if not in equilibrium uh, remember the way to determine the probabilities is to form an ensemble so I form an ensemble of four spins etc so so I form an ensemble and in the ensemble I count uh, the the systems that have uh, one of the outcomes and for example what is the probability p1 probability of having this configuration plus plus minus it's the number of systems in the ensemble that show that outcome divided by the total number of systems in the ensemble and theoretically this should be a very large number now if this is not equal to 1 over 4 what will happen is that the system will evolve uh, in a direction uh, that will have all probabilities the same eventually so uh, there will be transitions uh, to other accessible states until we have P1 equals, P2 equals, P3 equals, P4 equals, 1 over 4, that is until we reach equilibrium. So we can state this observation uh, if an isolated system is not found with equal probability in each one of its accessible states it is not not in equilibrium and as a result it tends it then tends to change in time until it attains ultimately the equilibrium situation where it will be found with equal probability in each one of its accessible states
Okay, so that basically summarizes our observation. Now, how do we actually approach uh, equilibrium? Uh, so if you look at the case of a, an ideal gas that is inside a cylinder with a piston, uh, I look at the initial situation here. In the initial situation, I have the gas trapped with the piston uh, in, the, in, the, in its initial position. Then I have a sudden piston motion sudden piston uh, pull so what will happen uh, because there is a lot of empty space the molecules will collide until they form the most uniform configuration a final uniform configuration so the question is how long does it take so uh, for the uh, sudden expansion of a gas uh, we can talk about the relaxation time so recall that the relaxation time is the time required to reach equilibrium relaxation time tau sub r uh, this let's say is of the order of milliseconds so it takes uh, milliseconds to reach the final equilibrium configuration which is the most disordered random uniform distribution of molecules so this is the case for sudden expansion of a gas on the other hand if i consider uh, this initial situation again but now i am uh, moving the uh, the piston very slowly very slow piston pull what will happen if I'm doing it so slowly and uh, let's say the total time it takes to complete the uh, the final configuration the reach to the final configuration is 100 seconds uh, so let me call this um, tau e so I'm looking at very slow very slow uh, expansion of a gas in this case I'm talking about uh, the, the total time it takes delta T to complete the piston motion I'm going to call this tau sub e let's say this is 100 seconds so what i notice is that tau sub e is much greater than tau sub r so i'm doing it slowly enough that at every point in time basically uh, as i'm pulling this uh, piston the system is approximately at equilibrium so this basically suggests that the molecules at any instant have sufficient time to uniformly distribute so this is the case when I'm doing it uh, very very slowly and that process is called quasi static uh, process it's a quasi static expansion of a gas and in this case basically the distrib uh, the equilibrium is uh, to a good approximation not disturbed at all times uh, so the the conclusion here is that uh, we find only if tau e the time to complete the expansion is comparable to the relaxation time we have uh, the more complex
non-equilibrium situation. Okay, so basically uh, we reach the final uh, uniform configuration with the quasi-static expansion of the gas uh, but now all also uh, during the intermediate steps the system is again at equilibrium so it is at equilibrium here this one is non-equilibrium so that's the sudden expansion of the gas uh, the intermediate steps correspond to a non-equilibrium configuration okay so let's just uh, recap what we have said if an isolated system is in equilibrium then it is found with equal probability in each one of its accessible states or if an isolated system is found with equal probability in each one of its accessible states then it must be in equilibrium uh, we can show this for a system of four spin one half particles that is isolated each with moment mu zero external field b total energy minus two mu zero b we found that for this scenario we have four accessible states and if the system is at equilibrium the probabilities of all those states will be one over four uh, so that the total probability is one now if the system is not in equilibrium if you were to form an ensemble of n systems uh, and try this uh, try to measure the configuration of those uh, spins or the, or the moments you would find that uh, the probability of a certain accessible uh, state is given by number of systems in the ensemble that, does, that display this outcome divided by the total number of systems in the ensemble so we have n systems of four spins in the ensemble and if it is not equal to one over four this is stating that the system is not in equilibrium so there will be transitions uh, until we reach the a configuration where all probabilities are 1 over 4 all accessible states are equally probable if the isolated system is not found with equal probability in each one of its accessible states then it is not in equilibrium and what will happen is it will tend to change in time until it attains this criterion all accessible states must have equal probability at equilibrium now the approach to equilibrium uh, can be uh, performed in two different ways for example if you have the sudden expansion of a gas uh, you have an intermediate non-equilibrium configuration uh, but if you do it very very slowly so that your total experiment time is much greater than the relaxation time of the system you find that at intermediate steps at all times the system seems to be in equilibrium to a good approximation that's called quasi static process and this condition will be it will not apply only if the experimental time is comparable to the relaxation time which is the case in the sudden piston pull so if the relaxation time of your gas to approach the uniform configuration in this uh, system is a millisecond and if you uh, move your piston uh, in microsecond uh, range so if it's a sudden pull it takes you a microsecond to do that then the system will not have enough time to reach equilibrium so you have to wait after you perform the experiment for the system to reach its equilibrium 